policy goes. I think uh, Muriel was, was talking, uh, one of our biggest barriers tends to be adequate spectrum access for companies that are looking to do this. So historically, the way you know, spectrum policy has been done, um, we tend, the, the policymakers tend to recognize you know, Wi-Fi low-powered, unlicensed spectrum as sort of a creator of economic opportunity. And WISPs have historically shoehorned that spectrum into, into providing, you know, long-range broadband service. But it, it's, not, it's not ideal for that. It's, it's a great entry point because it's, it's low cost, no cost. Um, but then on the other side, the, the sort of the prime protected license spectrum has historically been viewed as, as you know, only made available for national mobile broadband service, uh, which then tends to mean from a, from a policy perspective, you're talking, you know, license spectrum that you, you get at auction in giant geographic areas. So if you're a startup company operating in you know rural Nebraska and the license area is the entire state it's like asking you know an entrepreneur who has put their life savings on the line who has no access to you know Wall Street funds it, it's like asking them they, they want a kiosk you're, you're telling them they have to buy a shopping mall in order to get that kiosk and that makes no business sense whatsoever so